pussy nigga. Pull up, crash, shout about your bae. Why you pussy? Lil' bitch come dance, battle with my Drake. You been fucked your bag up when you punch Ree in the face. Tell my fashion week, you sparing who come punch. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it. And uh, select all, okay? Turn up the penny banger, a new exclusivity. You will definitely be notify right here um prestissimo i want to say a big shout out to each and every one of you that support the channel good morning good afternoon good evening in your different various zones some of you live in australia some of you in china some of you in the us some of you in canada some of you in brazil some of you in Nigeria, in South Africa, in Kenya, in various parts of Africa, in the Middle East. I appreciate each and every one of you. Now let's get down to the topic. Is Excellency Turkey Alashik has brought something different to boxing? Basically, he's the face of boxing right now. You know, usually the face of boxing are always like fighters. Joshua is one of the faces of boxing, you know, um, if not the biggest, I mean globally. Ryan Garcia is one of the faces of boxing, uh, Canelo Alvarez, one of the faces of boxing, uh, Tyson Fury, one of the faces of boxing. So we have others as well who are like getting there but not really there yet the likes of terence ball crawford i think he deserves to be the face of boxing he's the number one pound for pound uh, fighter in the world you know now so turkey alashik his excellency has someone else to deal with basically like to get in line all scadilla oil is the new guy Turkey Alachi came into boxing with an open mind, an open heart, without without allegiance to any promoter, to anyone. This guy doesn't give a half about any promoter. He cares about the fans and the fighters. You know already. That. So now, Oscar de la Hoya tweeted something very controversial. Where you say, yeah, nobody, I mean nobody is coming to my country or my city and think they can take over boxing. I'm a fighter first and I will fight hard for what I love the most and that's boxing. Viva! Now, also the lawyer statement is very... I don't understand it in a way. This is uh, a huge this basic this is him throwing shades at the, his excellency this is a this is a fight he's never gonna win uh i'm sorry also lawyer your level is not even there you're not well, i mean <laughs> where his excellency will step foot on you can never be there like there are there are rooms where his excellency will step foot in i don't think any of your generation will ever step foot in that in that room it's just fact his excellency is a boxing fan a powerful man the owner of ameria if you guys watch um uh, football uh, aka soccer in america he's the owner of ameria he's a is a is a, a just show promoter a prince from the kingdom of Saudi arabia you know directly involved with the crown prince so these guys they you know the power they possess is is not people always think oh it's about money and stuff like no it's not about money of course money runs the world but there is some respect there's some diplomatic respect you get when you acquire something that you know others can't in a in a good or in a bad way all depends 
Oscar Oyo was born in Los Angeles, if I'm not mistaken. Los Angeles. He says that's a city and his country. The last time I checked, Oscar de la Hoya is a Mexican American. That is what he had. Listen, if you think I'm lying, let's take a look at this nationality right here. American Mexican, meaning he holds two passports one of Mexico, one of America. So, what country is he referring to? Is it Mexico or America? You know, I don't know if his excellency would be staging fights in Mexico, but right now he wants to break into the American market. Riyadh season is a fantastic um, idea, basically. I don't know who came up with it. Basically, I think it's the 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 brain behind the, the brains behind Riyadh season. This guy did the, and. They advised His Excellency to take Real Season outside the kingdom. Basically, Real Season is always being held at the kingdom. You know, this is just facts. But they advised His Excellency to take it outside. And this will be their first. This will be the first. This is the first Real Season show outside the show of the kingdom. Okay. Now, all promoters came together even pbc i uh, am usually don't don't like working with anybody you know proud to the to his excellency coming to boxing there used to be this there's still this politics by the way by the way because there used to be this politics king politics where pbc was known to be for black fighters i mean by black i mean black american fighters or when was not to sign black American fighters. Um, and basically the home of basic black American fighters in a way. That's, that's how it was portrayed. Which is not the case because you have a lot of Latinos <clears throat> managed and advised by Heyman. Well, who also fights on PBC card, you know. So, and then Matrum was a British thing, basically. Matrum ventured into America some years back, but didn't really make the progress. They signed a couple of talents, uh, Austin William Hamill, for example. They signed. Those also signed uh, Pacheco. They signed a lot of our uh, talents. You know, some of them I have not seen yet. Even Nikita. Um, what happened to Nikita? Is this still with Matrum? Is this still with Matrum or what? I don't know, man. So. Matrum haven't, haven't been able to break through America. They've tried their best, but not really like that. Eddie Hearn was, uh, Eddie Hearn and Oscar de la Hoya, uh, like they 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 they, are, they they work with the same network they own, but they are not friends. Oscar de la Hoya really dislikes Eddie Hearn for I don't know what reason. Basically, Oscar feels threatened by Eddie Hearn's you know um, advancement into his territory that is the US forget, let's, not, let's not forget that Oscar de la Hoya is a legend, a boxing legend okay, before he became promoter, he is a boxing legend you know after retirement, you know he started you know, promoting fi uh, f uh, fighters and his big first breakthrough was with Canelo. Canelo is no longer part of Golden Boy Promotions, definitely, but his big first, like, cash cow, was, was, was is Canelo. Okay. He has Ryan Garcia now. Who else does he have there? Jimmy Mungia and, you know, the rest. Jimmy Mungia doesn't command the kind of uh, attention the likes of Ryan Garcia and Canelo command, basically. Ryan Garcia is the last hope of Oscar de la Hoya. And I can understand why Oscar de la Hoya is very protective because he doesn't want um <laughs> he doesn't want Eddie Aaron to basically like <laughs> you know take over in a way. Like he's scared. This is despite him despite Ryan Garcia beating David Ainin 
like they should be happy they should okay we have this guy now okay i beat your man but he knows eddie henwood wouldn't stop until he cracked the u.s market fully eddie Hearn, you know encountered a lot of you know resistance basically you expect it to be so when you get going to an, uh, a territory america is a different a different planet entirely i would say different planet because the way business is run in america is very different from the rest of the world really things are different there, basically. america is like its own continent you know it, it, like like I, i mean the u.s because North America is a continent of its own, which when you have uh, Mexico, uh, US, and of course, uh, Canada. Those are North America, of course. Mexico also branched to the South America, but we will talk about that, we'll talk about that on, 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 on another video. So now, the way things are run in the US itself is different from anywhere else. Maybe Canada is a little bit closer to it because Canada, no, they kind of do the same similar things. Canada is like that neighbor or that, you know, copying the, you know, copying the U.S. style. But Canada also have its own different um, system because Canada is English and French. So you have the French side, you have the English side. Now, this is like Oscar Oil is is, is, is is like already putting in the resistance. You know, saying, oh no, like, uh, you know, nobody can come into my city and do this and do that. Listen, against Eddie Hearn, that might be possible because Eddie Hearn is not loaded. He's not. Eddie Hearn is powerful, but, you know, compared to Turkey Electric, it's not even. Bro, Turkey Electric can literally sit with the hierarchy of the US government. Also, the lawyer can, can do that. The, you know what I mean so there's different level there's the, the, the money is different the level is different where they can enter what they can do is different and also the reason why I'm very opposed to Oscar the lawyer uh, Heyman and all these promoters I mean all of them basically even Eddie Aaron for example or Frank Warren is because they don't work together even though at the end i say i want to work with the other promoters it, at the end of the day they still look after their own their own fighters interest and some fight marinate the life some fight marinate or, you know i understand it because you do need to put bombs on the seat to be able to pay the fighters now his excellency turkey electric has come in and he's literally breaking that yoke of saying listen no we don't if the fight is good the fans want it we'll put it we'll make it happen and guarantee with guaranteed fee basically so our uh, heyman came in in i was coming on board our uh, heyman was for me was really surprising because our uh, him showtime we know what happened to showtime boxing they run out of funds and you know what happened there anyways they were taking a lot of losses you know no business want to be taking losses And then now PBC is with is on Amazon Prime, which I think that wouldn't last long. It's very different format with the arrival of His Excellency and with React Season now venturing outside, venturing into the market of the US and taking their basically their product outside the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It makes things very interesting. Let's also not forget that in September. There's a big, there's gonna be a big, big uh, event staged in the UK at Wembley Stadium. Now, if we should look at the card, this is real season first card in the US, right? Now, this is the stadium, BMO uh, Stadium in uh, Los Angeles. Now, look at the fighters on the card. Terence bought Crawford versus Madrimo as headliners. Isaac Cruz against Jose Valenzuela. This is a war right here. This is a, 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 a kill or get killed right here. Team Zoo against Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz has a fight coming up. He needs to win that fight for this fight to be valid. If he doesn't win, if he loses, then Team Zoo will have to fight someone else. I don't know how that works. Maybe they still go ahead. You never know. 
one thing about his excellency Turkey Electric is that he doesn't he doesn't care if you lose you can lose and come back basically look at for example Gerald B.B. Miller his last fight he lost to Daniel Dubois Deontay Water last fight lost to Joseph Parker those performance of course Miller put up a better fight than Water did against Parker because Water was very like I don't know very tentative you know then it was not the Water we know it's not the Water we know and the reason you hasn't fought for two years bro and this is his first time in two fighting in two, first time in two years to fight you know so PB this, okay and the reason for support is a PBC fighter so this a a lot of the fighters here are PBC fighters and they're on this card. What does that show you? It shows you that there's a new new sheriff in town and the sheriff is His Excellency Turkey Alashik and he's doing a fantastic job. So, so I would say Oscar the lawyer I'm sorry bro you can't do anything about it bro. I mean I know you don't like Eddie Hearn with Eddie Hearn you can hold your ground you can bully Eddie Hearn if you want of course you know Eddie Hearn's up uh, Matru promotion um, generated, the, generated the biggest revenue I think for uh, for boxing um, last year so this year might even be they might even be they might stay on top so uh, Gordon Burr promotions is not even close you know what I mean so it's not even close bro so like for Gordon Boy to to get to the level of matrum they have to have <clears throat> a, basically a stable of star and all they have now is just Ryan Garcia Jimmy Mungia is not a pay-per-view fighter He's not a house, big household name, stuff like that. The fight against Canelo, I don't know why it's happening, but just purely because Canelo, you know, does what he wants. So, the card right here is amazing. So, Oscar should be careful what he wish for because um, these in Tokyo last week, that's basically like, <laughs> count yourself out. Because you, at the end of the day, they can push you aside. The WBA literally signed a deal with <clears throat> a partnership deal with um, with Riyadh Season, basically. At some point, <laughs> the the governing bodies will have to basically do the right things instead of like stalling fights. You know, give like you know what I mean. Like going back, I'm just happy that. I don't know how long his excellency Tokyo La Chic uh, will be here because I think he has a um, he has a uh, some health uh, some health issues. You know he expressed it, and this might be the reason why he's putting on this fight, all this fight together and the car together because um yeah this could be the reason why he's doing that. You know what I mean? So. I just hope, man. I just hope, you know, that he stays in boxing for as long as he can. And I hope that real season continues because we are tired of all this boxing politics. Look at UFC, for example. Everything in UFC is fantastic. Well, all those things we look at and um, wish we had that in boxing. I think we will have that. Who we'll have that? Stay tuned, guys. God bless you all. Follow us on the channel. Also, the lawyer cannot defeat Turkey Alashik. There's no way in hell it does that. There is no way in hell. There's no way, bro. Also, the lawyer is powerless. Like he's like a uh, he's like an hunt. Where Alashik is? I'm just saying. Let's keep money aside for example. I already told you guys that the room Turkey Light Chick will be allowed in. Uh, also, the lawyer and his generation will never be allowed in that room. It's just fast. That's what it is, man. But as <clears throat> this is boxing, you might do things to try sabotage this 
bro. One thing about Saudi Arabia and Qataris and uh, Omanis and Abu Dhabi, you know, those guys when they want something, when they invest in something, they get it. <laughs> um, if they if they really want it, they get it. And I don't think boxing politics in America will stop them from doing it, especially when boxing is about money. Because let's keep it right here, the fighters wants to get paid they've been blackboard for a long time you know they've been blackboard for a very long time fighters some boxers are dirty spots sometimes you see fighters you see how good they are all of a sudden they are gone and then some are having this contractual issues where they don't get paid enough the allowance is not on time money is not on time nothing even the pbc fighters they don't get paid a lot they don't get their they, 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 like they, don't, they are not active when you have too many fighters and you have not enough money to keep all active what are you doing why are you why do you have to store their career this is what i'm saying and it's just facts still let's go okay. oh, expose. Pussy.